crowded gathering before the sun came up, filling the Maverick Center's parking lot, clogging the side streets. For us, it's kind of a gamble. But we're here, we're set up, and we'll give away product till it's gone. Ten semi-trucks full of meat, milk, and fruit. It means a lot for me. Thank you so much. This family of six is thankful for hamburger. And we couldn't, like, get afford, uh, afford it, so we're really happy that we got a lot of the food, so we're blessed to have it. With soaring unemployment, the food bank says demand is three times higher this month than in March. It's going to help a lot. They're going to cut down my husband's hours at work. So. Keeping social distancing in mind, but also dignity. Are any of these people coming through a few weeks ago were gainfully employed, had never had to ask for a product before. This is the first time for them. The food was provided by federal agencies and local grocery stores. Up until today, the largest mobile distribution helped 900 people. Today, they expected well over 2,000. Not one family is alone that they're struggling through this. So we're all in this together. Together, when help is needed the most. Thank you, Dad. distributions across the state and if you want to take a look at our calendar we have a link on our website fox13now.com reporting in west valley Haley higgins fox 13 news utah today